Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a look at how to create a video light box using the native Cornerstone modal element. Now there are a couple of different ways that you could go about doing this but I'm going to show you the way that I use most often and then you guys can go ahead and tweak from there. So without further ado, let's dive in. So as you can see here we have a header on our web page and we want to include a modal with a video inside of it. So what are we going to do? well let's go ahead and come in here go to our elements pane and type in modal and we want this modal element here so we'll go ahead and drag that out and there we have our modal before we get to styling the video inside the modal itself let's go ahead and style our toggle we want this to look more like a button so we're going to jump over to the toggle here we're going to add text and then we can begin adding some of our own custom opinionated styles i am going to allow this to have a width of auto and a height of auto and then we can come down to our padding and make it more button like let's just do something simple like this five seven five and eight five something like that so a little bit of padding on there now let's get down to our text area and we'll just type out watch video something like this here now let's keep scrolling down we're not going to style color and all of that fun stuff but we do want to add something other than the hamburger menu we want it to be more obvious that this is a video that we'll be playing so we're going to toggle over to our font awesome graphics here scroll down to our icon selection and we'll type in play and now we could pick any one of these let's go ahead and use something like uh let's do this one here and i think that's looking pretty good now let's jump into the modal so we'll go ahead and click on this and here is our modal so this is our toggle and this is our modal now inside the modal we want to include a video now again like i said there are a couple of different ways that you could do this but this is how i like doing it first things first i love using the native cornerstone video element so i'm going to go ahead and grab that and drag that right into my modal here now i do want my video to be a little bigger than this so i'm going to click on that modal again here and i'm going to scroll down to our max width here and i'm just going to pick something arbitrary and maybe play around with this but something like 70 m's might give me a nice big video here i think that's looking pretty good now you can also continue styling things like how dark you want the backdrop i might do something just a little bit darker since it's going to be a video we want it to feel like sort of an experience there and now we want this close button to have just a little bit more padding and be a little bit more obvious so let's go ahead and increase the size just a little bit here maybe we do 1.25 m's on our close button and i'm going to make it white and then we'll do sort of a transparent white on hover something like that and then let's just add a little bit of space off the edge there so there that's looking pretty good now i have a placeholder video here so let's go ahead and jump into our video element and pop that url into the embed area and here we have our video i personally don't want to include this border here you might so i'm going to click on the modal again i'm going to scroll down to our padding and i'm going to go ahead and turn that off so now something you see a lot nowadays especially on platforms like youtube are rounded edges on the video and so we're going to do something similar to that using the border radius so let's jump into our border radius and add a border radius of 1m now we are not doing this on the video element we are doing this on the modal itself and you'll see why in just a second so let's add 1m and it doesn't look like anything changes but now let's scroll back up to the top of our modal element controls here and we are going to click on overflow hidden and as soon as we do that the edges of our video are rounded out now you might see a little bit of white in those edges and that's because there is a background color on the video element itself so let's go ahead and click on the video element go to frame grab our background color here which is not necessary you could make this black or in my case i'm just going to go ahead and make this transparent and then jumping back to the modal we want to make the background of the modal transparent or black as well and then we don't have any of that edge color bleeding over there and things are looking pretty good now we might want to add a little bit more separation between our video and the background just so it feels like it's raised off the surface a little bit so uh, on the modal itself we could jump down to our box shadow we could make this just a little bit harsher here and maybe something i'm going to go extreme here like this you could also do something like this where you use sort of a lighter color to help it glow a little bit off the background edges i think that's looking pretty good now the problem is and you're not going to be able to hear this right now because i have things muted but if i were to go ahead and save this and then we'll pop it out over here and view this on the front end when i click on watch video and i click the play button here this is playing and you can see that the audio is playing in my tab up here right so then if i close this out 
you'll notice that that audio icon is still up here, which means the audio is still playing in the background even though I've closed the modal. And I think we can all agree that that is not the behavior that our visitors would want coming to the page. So how do we solve for that? Well, let's jump back over here. And the one thing we need to click when we're inside of the modal element is up at the top here, we want dynamic rendering turned on. And what that means is that when the modal is closed, the video stops as well. When the modal is opened, the video can be played. So let's go ahead and save this again, jump back out to the front end and refresh. And you'll notice there is no audio playing right now. So we're starting from scratch. We'll go to watch video and we'll click the play button here. You'll notice that there now is audio playing. And then if I close out of this, so I click in the empty space, you'll notice that the audio icon in the tab above goes away. So our audio stopped using the dynamic rendering. And then the final thing is to just make sure that this looks good at all of your different screen sizes. So we would scale this down and make sure that the width we chose really works for what we're doing. Like maybe on mobile here, we don't want as much padding on the side. So we could say ignore side padding, which is then going to stretch it the full width of the container. But then we could come in here and say that we want our max width to be something like 25 M's. And then we could start to play around with this and really hone in on a size that we really like. And there you have it. As easy as that, you can create your own video light boxes using nothing more than the native cornerstone modal element. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.